Shalom, my friends. We are learning in this Torah portion in Parashat Emor, in the book of Leviticus, chapter 21, the, uh, the evolution and meaning of the entire holidays, but especially the three main holidays which were in the, in the Torah times, Pesach, Shavuot, and Sukkot. And those are called, the, in Hebrew, the Shloshita uh, regalim, which are the three main holidays of pilgrimage that later became the time that our ancestors went to Jerusalem to bring the different things, the first products, you know, time of uh, gathering together. Uh, probably it was a time where people used to pay kind of a tax of that day. But this brings us to our days and uh, this was the inspiration for our calendar that later was developed. And the Jewish calendar is consists by 12 months, and there are a little more of 29 and a half days in each month. And the whole, the entire year consists about 354 and a half uh, days. And it's important that we have, remember all the celebrations, such as Nisan, which is the first month from a Torah, again, from the Torah point of view, we celebrate from the 15th to the 22nd, Pesach. Then uh, Yom HaShoah, we celebrate uh, the uh, later on, and as well in Iyar, we celebrate 50th year Yom HaTzmaut, which is the Israeli Independence Day. Then the 18th of, uh, of Iyar as well, we are celebrating Lag Omer. Then in Sivan, from the 6th to the 7th, we celebrate uh, Shavuot. In Tammuz, there's the 17th, which is the fast of Tammuz, which is the time that we remember that how the temple was surrounded and then destroyed. Then nine is the, the nine of Av is the next month, which is the time that we remember uh, the destruction of the temples. Then uh, in Elul there is no special holiday, and then again in Tishrei we start the first of the Tishrei is Rosh Hashanah. Now by the beginning of the year, from a I will call it Almudic point of view. And then the uh, 10th of that month is uh, Yom Kippur, is the Day of Atonement. Then the 15th to the 21st of Tishrei is the uh, Sukkot time. Shemini Atzeret is the 22nd, and Simchat Torah is the 23rd. Heshvan is the following month with no celebration, and his left from the 25th we celebrate uh, Hanukkah. Then in uh, Shabbat we celebrate the 15th of Shabbat, we celebrate the Hagi Lanot, the uh, New Year for the Trees, and Adar, the 13th, on the 14th especially, we celebrate Puri. That in natural is the Jewish calendar and all the celebration that we have. Once again, in the Torah, in this Torah portion, we are learning about especially Pesach, Shavuot, and Sukkot, and as well, there is the importance of Shabbat. And those are the, the, the part of the Torah we, in each holiday, we're going to be reading again to remind us the way that our ancestors and the purpose that those special holidays had in our tradition. I hope that we'll remember this information. I hope that we, all of us, will celebrate every single holiday. Shabbat Shalom.